Hi everybody, this is Ages, and welcome back to episode 18 of our Valheim Adventures. In the previous one, and I'm still undecided, we're contemplating making this outpost a little bit better. But I'm undecided because I've already gone through, we cleared the burial chambers. That's actually a cave troll, not a berry, but it's fine. I only found two more copper notes, there's another berry site there. But once we're done with this one's elder, which is a bit further down, uh, are we really going to come back this way? And I can't decide. So I'm going to take our cores that we picked up, got a nice 31 of them, and I'm going to head back to our main base. And yeah, we're going to take it from there. I don't need too many more cores. That's why I'm um, a bit undecided on this base. Because I've decided that it's a self imposed rule, there won't be any portals for my playthrough. So everywhere we go, we've got to either run there, sail there. But what I do want to do is I want to make a designated path that comes this way. And that's something I definitely do want to do. Because pulling that cart all the way through was pure torture. And there might actually be some nice stuff over there, but I haven't been that way yet. But yeah, we aren't doing any portals. So if we can't run there or sail there, we're in a bit of trouble. And I should smash this tree. But then I did realize I'm actually at slot cap with regards to my weight. No, oh, the tree can lie there. I need to get the, the better boat. Because that little dinghy we had, I think in episode 3, I want to say, was just not cutting it. And I definitely want to get off this island. So if anything, even if I don't use them all, uh, I've set myself up for a good big base on a new spot. So that's actually what I'm going to do. Yes, that is what we are going to do in this video. We are going to... Gather enough to pull us a bigger boat. And from there we will go find us our big base. Uh, heads. New edition, yeah. Because uh, we've got all this nice goodies here already. So we want those, but we want to find a, a spot next to a plains, with preferably a meadow. It's not necessary, but it would be ideal. And I've been smeltering this stuff away. That's why we actually went for more cores to speed this process along. Now I've decided we are going to just, I'm not going to say abandon this outpost, but we are going to move away from it. I can stay there. Hmm. 
There's a bee hives going. I'm not even harvesting them. I've got more than enough uh, materials from them. And I don't want to put more effort into this base if we're going to move. Which is essentially our goal. So now we need to go get some fine wood trees. We haven't been able to harvest this before I got my smashing axe. There we go, we got the fine wood. We've got quite a lot of nice stuff that just comes unlocked with this. Let's just see what we need for the boat, because the boat is actually what we are targeting. 30 fine wood, 80 bronze nails, some deer hard. Yeah, we've got all that deer hard resin. We've got fine wood we don't have, and the bronze nails we don't have. Let me check it. Now that I'm looking for these birch trees. Not birch? Is it birch? There's in there. Yeah, birch trees. So the biggest problem here is I've deforested this whole area. because I had no intention of actually staying here and I don't have uh, the cultivator yet all those contributing factors that we can wait do we have enough now, all those contributing factors I haven't been too worried about keeping the area nice. Uh, what's the word? Maintained. Okay, I'm going to come back for that. That's actually fine wood. But this is why I want a plains bordered with a meadow so that we can uh, grow these additional trees because some of these trees you can't actually grow in both zones but if I remember correctly the, the what you call it the, the plains has its own fine trees Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got the fine wood. It's just the bronze we don't have. But I do remember I, have, I should have maybe a little bit of tin. Let's just check. Yeah, I just smelted the tin. A little bit of charcoal. Okay, so we go like this. Boom, boom, boom. Because we only need four pieces. do we need? Fine wood, resin, and deer hide. We've got all that. Just enough deer hide. Resin is in the other room. Resin is always something I've got plenty of. And we need a stack of wood. The woods in the other place. We'll just take the one next to the, the smelter. But we need the fine wood. There we go. Take that wood. You are carrying too much. No, I'm not. We can now make the better ship. Boom. We are now able to traverse land, sea. Let's put this copper away. And this fine wood, mostly because it's quite valuable right to me right now. And then these bronze nails. Let's stock up on our food. You know, I bought these and I've used them once. <laughs> Simultaneously, anyway. Okay. We don't properly have a heading, but let's move out. Let's go. The wind is in our favor, and I am going to move us to the left once I clear the sandbank. So we're going to go that way. The wind is in our favor. Why is the deer all the way out to there? 
The one thing I don't like about these boats is you battle to see what's in front of you. Because the sail's so big, I do believe there was a way of how to hide the mast. But for the life of me, I can't remember. change direction a little bit. Okay, we're going to want to go between the two. too much there. Oh, turn, turn. Not so much. No, this is fine. Just always remember to check the boat's health because we are taking damage as we sail. But as long as we don't run aground, we should be fine. It's a little bit madness actually going so deep with just our bronze gear. I say it's a little bit madness. See that looks like actually looks like mist biomes over there, which I don't want to go to. There's a nice meadow spot. It's not quite flat. But we can pull a nice little harbor there. And now we're in the ocean. We must be careful when we're in the ocean because there is sea serpents. And my little bronze bronze gear, my little wooden bow will not do the job here. So I don't want to be too close to the lamp, but I don't want to be so far that I can't see it. Turn slightly. For the very reason, I want to... Oh, 
I want to be able to which we call it uh, I want to be able to see when we find a planes while avoiding being hit by a Deskido. Which is like the the easiest and hardest creature in the planes. Turn two four. <laughs> it's fine. The joy of traveling at night. Turn and level out. I'm just going to stop here. I'm just going to repair my boat. Oopsie. This was quite deep. That is why I brought that extra bit of wood with me. Let's check it was below half. Still in favor of the wind. Let's go. Uh, it's always nerve wracking when you leave your safety of your base. They must know if I had to die at you. Sea serpent, Deskido, anything. Uh, it'll be al almost impossible for me to get my gear. Because you must remember, I used the last of my resources to to make this trip. I 
want to go down here. It's not like I can't get more resources, but uh, this is like the last of my bronze. The tin I had, I know I just picked up more tin, but. Some very shallow land here. Let's get stuck on this rock. I don't necessarily like sailing at night for this very reason. And this looks like a dead end. I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to sail back home. I've got a few things I need to do in the real world, unfortunately. Yeah, no, real world sucks. But there's a few things I need to do in the real world, and I will end our adventures here, and then we'll pick it up next time. Uh, I do think I'll go slay the boss next time and then we will come back and try to find our base because we've got quite far but no such luck and I would like to just explore a little bit more but I don't want to waste all your guys time so yeah I shall see you guys in the next video this is Aegis signing out and have a fantastic day